we got a lot to talk about, right, guys? Oh, man. Today's a very hard decision. And that decision is to completely dismantle a unicorn. Now, I'm not saying this car is super gold, but uh, based off the comments you guys left on the last vlog, thank you so much for interacting. I also want to talk to you guys about my channel. I honestly believe I'm shadow banned. I honestly believe I have one of the best uh, automotive channels in the world. It's detailed. It's fun. We teach all the time. Uh, we had a podcast on um, a lot of engagement. And I honestly think it's the word gunning, it's the word gun, that's not allowing YouTube to share my algorithm. So I've been on YouTube since 2019. I've got over 400 uploads. So I did some analytics and watched a few other videos. A person with 400 uploads needs to be around 100,000 subscribers. I'm barely touching 55,000 subscribers. Now, I just, need, I just need to remind people a lot of things. Uh, we built all-wheel drive cars here. All-motor, turbo, Mazda RX-8 with a K motor. We went to the track. I rented it out. I used that footage to uh, teach people how to drive. I've never seen that kind of video on YouTube, and there's over 4 million channels. And I've never seen a detailed video on how to launch, preload, shift, stage, try to get a perfect light, so on and so forth. I'm sorry for crying in the beginning because I need your suggestion here. Do you think I should change the channel's name from Keep Gunning to KG Garage? Now the word gun is out. I know YouTube is super sensitive when it comes to the word gun. They don't really let a lot of uh, YouTubers that advertise weapons uh, monetize. I've just again, this is just stuff that I've been seeing around on YouTube, just doing some research. So let me know in the comments below. <clears throat> we need to have that plaque in this garage. It would mean something to us, to all of us gunners, because we did it. 500 square feet. We got a hundred thousand subscribers. I've been on since 2019, posting consistently. Do you think it's time to change the channel's page? From Keep Gunning to KG Garage, maybe we can try it and see how it works, see if the algorithm changes, see if we can get closer to 60,000 subscribers. I don't know. But if you're watching right now, uh, every subscription counts, every subscription is appreciated, and you're going to learn and you're going to have a lot of fun here. Back to what we're doing today. Based off the comments from yesterday, a lot of you guys don't want me to rip this car apart. Guys, I'm not that kind of guy. You guys know I K-swap everything. I work detailed. In my opinion, I'm about to improve this chassis. So we found a lot of flaws. We're going to fix it on the channel through this playlist. It'll, uh, it'll go under the playlist of all-wheel drive GSR. Second thing, a lot of people wanted me to raffle or do a giveaway with the motor. It doesn't have the substance for that. I can raffle off this motor at $10 a man, it'll make $30,000, and then people will be pissed at me for making that much money. Last time we did a slash raffle was the K20Z3. We made way too much money. We made 20 grand. We ended up having to give second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth $1,000 each because I said, guys, this is too much money to take from you on a Z3. So... Yeah, today is the day. We're going to rip this motor out. We're going to take everything out as clean as possible. We're going to try to save the engine bay because I'm not painting this car. I love the original uh, paint on it. The front bumper definitely does need help, but we'll talk about that more. But I'm excited. Today's the day we rip, a, we rip apart a unicorn. So also on Instagram, real quick. If anybody can give me a shout on Instagram in a DM, I'd like to get these rims back to high polish. I don't want anything for free. Let me know if you're local. I'm in Yonkers, New York. You can either pick up the rims or drop them off to you. But I need these rims back to factory high polish. Please hit me on Instagram. If you're local, close, whatever, if you can get it done for me, I don't want it for free. I want to pay you for your hard work. So... 
Without further ado, let's make one of the biggest mistakes in the Honda world right now. Keep going. All right, guys. All right, guys. Okay, boys. You are not yanking all the way and trying to dump the back. That's it, man. Jeff is the owner of the car. This is his crew. First thing I did was, um, you know, you guys obviously know those, those dreaded uh, header bolts that are always rust up. This cat is in great condition. Probably get like 400 bucks for this cat, whoever buys this motor, because uh, it had no oxygen sensor or codes or anything. So I got that part done up, cut those two bolts off, now the exhaust I can take off, but we'll do that later. Uh, gonna start working on the axles, um, maybe the back, the back motor mount bracket, uh, disconnect the oxygen sensor so we could save those, but just gonna take my time, there's no reason for me to rush, I wanna do everything nice and clean because obviously whoever buys this motor, I just wanna make their life super easy, and um, they could just bolt it right into the next chassis. Wheels off, get to the axle here. 32, got my magnet on the side of the lift, don't lose nothing. Need a 17 for that crown bolt. Thank God I didn't have a cotter pin on, on this one. So whenever I take off a ball joint, I actually don't like to take the entire thing off. Sometimes you get lucky by using a pry bar. And I'm walking like an old man because the floor is slippery. Last night we soaked the car with PB blaster, so all of this is. I might bust my. Wow. Came right out. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. So, okay, Axel is out on this side. It's so weird to see the half shaft on this side, too. I'm so used to working on K series where it's the other side. But uh, fortunately for me, this is an easy one so far. I did soak the ball joint. I don't know if that helped also, but let me grab a hammer, which is behind you. Excuse me, guys. Watch your back here. Knock out this axle. You guys can see? Good? Yeah. All right, so I always, normally people would take off uh, the long 17. I don't like to do it that way. I like to just get it off of here. So at least this can hold it up. Nice. Perfect. Okay. So I've got that axle there. I'll leave that there for a second. I'll worry about that later. I'll move on to the other side. I'll, um, I don't know. Maybe I should have like a rag ready for that side. So when I pull the axles out, I could just stuff the transmission and we won't have any leakage. If that's a pause, you pause. Ah, man, okay. So axles out, both of them are out. Stuff that transmission. This leak is honestly from me spraying PV Blaster up there on those bolts to make my life easy. But this transmission's flawless. Um, remove the 14s from the torque mount. I always like to work on the bottom first, pause. It just makes life easier when you're, you know, at the top, pause. And um, just go from there. So I'm thinking the next thing I should do is take off this exhaust 
because I just have to loosen up the, I'll loosen up that 12 and then, well, these two 12s for the shift linkage bear with me. And then from there, just stay at the top, pause, keep working from there. But yeah, man, we are, uh, <laughs> we are stripping this. Wasn't that bad, nice and easy. Drop the shift linkage, it's loose. Got to get rid of that uh, shifter uh, shift knob up there. That'll be ready, so I'm not going to do that quite yet. We're going to let this hang here for a little bit. Axles are out. I'm pretty much done here at the bottom. I know I've got a couple of, uh, you know, maybe I can start. Maybe I can take the radiator out. That's probably the smartest thing to do. Just unhook it here now. And so the swap can come out a little bit cleaner, but for the most part, it's going smooth. It's going very smooth. I didn't want to take off uh, the control arm yet, so I can just easily disconnect the, uh, the muffler from the hanger. I sprayed that last night, which made my life super easy working with uh, these hangers, these rubber hangers, if you want to call them that. But definitely a lot to clean up on this car and we're gonna do a great job we're gonna basically wire brush the entire bottom wherever we see rust like right here we're gonna wire brush all of this clean and then coat the entire bottom all these look look how rusted this is this is northeast man this is northeast look at this look at that didn't even need bolts ah oh, that salt kills us guys Man, I forgot how fun it is to work on a B. All right, so uh, got to use some cool tools. Also, I'm using this new gun. It's like a 3 8 but half inch. It's the same size as a 3 8 but a half inch. This thing is strong, guys, brand new. First time trying it. I don't know exactly what it's called, but maybe I can find a part. It's the brushless one. Strong as hell, very light, compact. I got to stick a swivel 17, uh, took off the two 19s off the transmission, just got to take that back bolt off first, because the whole thing is, if I leave that on, I'm going to have to push the motor too far up in order to get over this rack, so I'm just thinking ahead, I'm just planning accordingly to make my life much easier when I lower the car, but it's, it's, it's actually, t hi Manolo, we race you soon, next month buddy. Um, I'm just making my life easier for when I get to the top of the vehicle in the engine bay. So let me bring this guy down and uh, start chipping away. Right now I was just going around with the 10 mil and taking everything off that I see that has a, a 10 mil. Just make my life easy. Just use one tool at a time for now. And a lot of these bolts are pretty rusted. I just kind of do one of these moves and put it on an angle. We're going to not use any of this stuff. Obviously, it's uh, not in great condition. But, um, yeah, just running around the car with a 10 mil, take off this strut bar, get to the hoses, and, and you know, so on and so forth. Uh, I got one more 17 for that back bracket. But, again, just taking my time. I'm not breaking anything. I got to save the oxygen sensors. Got to save the full exhaust, the cap, everything is good. So, again, maybe it's time to take some power out of this car. Radiator's out. That was very, very smooth. Made my life super easy. Look how much room I have now. Um, got the motor rocking a little bit because of that back bracket. Took off the air box. Yeah. The, the chassis definitely needs some TLC with all the rusted stuff. But I'll tell you one thing, guys. Let me show you this right here. Uh, Joe Cerruti from Acura, one of our gunners, he sent me a couple of these bottles. Guys, doesn't last long. I'm telling you right now. This stuff is incredible. Maybe you can screenshot that, find it on Amazon. Wow. Everything that I sprayed came right off no issues everything it was so easy to work with I know those transmission bolts are gonna be super easy to come out I hope I didn't just jinx myself but I'm gonna I'm just gonna keep chipping away maybe I'll start working on those AC lines 
drain some of it and uh, go from there. But every everything honestly is, is going smoothly and I love this pace of work right now. I don't know guys, I think I'm ready. I think I'm absolutely ready. Heater core hoses are off, radiators out, back bracket is completely loose. I took the harness, just wrapped it over. I've got nothing connected to the car. Dis uh, um, disconnected the um, brake booster. Feed for fuel. Power steering line. Got my dolly under. I think this guy is ready to drop, like right now. So let me set up the lift because I'm by myself right now. And um, we'll see what happens. Okay. Motor mounts completely off, both sides. On the dolly, ready to go up. Okay, nothing from the chassis going to the car, or I mean to the motor, I apologize. So we just have to make it over this little hump. Nothing is going to hit. This is right about there. Back bracket is almost off. It's gonna get a nice little tilt this way and then straighten out. Okay, now I definitely gotta help it. Let me get my gloves. <laughs> Look at that, that baby's out nice and smooth. Didn't break nothing. That's good. Give me one second. One second, guys, I'm about to straighten this motor out. Got to save the AC lines too, so whoever buys it, get in the AC lines also. Maybe I should take that back bracket out now. Nah, it's wedged in there. Oh, got it. Yep, there it is. Motor straightened out. Don't break the speed sensor, Aki. That's very expensive nowadays. All right, so if I go down, I won't hurt it. Here we go. Coming out. Just a quick double check. I'm not rubbing on anything, not gonna hit anything. Didn't break the TPS. Nice. Oh, she's locked in there. Where's she locked up at? There? Gotcha. We got something for you, buddy. It's that back T bracket. All my B series guys, you know the deal. I just gotta get it off of this edge. Money. Money. Again, not trying to break nothing, not trying to speed. If I already took my time. Oh yeah, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. I was just thinking, imagine I didn't press record. Sorry for the long clip, pause. Sorry for the long clip. That's it. It is out, didn't break anything. I won't lie to you, the only thing I did have to cut off was the um, uh, heater core hoses because it was very hard to get in there and break that rust off, but I'll get to clean that up. But shift linkage, everything came out smooth. I know some of you probably forgot, thought I forgot to take off the shift knob. I did that. So very, you know, honestly, if I would have just taken this guy out from the very beginning, which is kind of difficult on this chassis, you need like a pry bar, then go against this factory uh, tie bar and then take that out. But didn't break the speed sensor. I disconnected this on purpose just so I don't break the plug. 
money. But yeah, full GSR swap is completely out, man. It's completely out. I know a lot of people are like, yo, I need that. I want to buy it. I got you guys, man. I got you. Okay, just a little bit of, uh, did a little bit of cleaning up. Put everything here. That's going to go with the swap. Um, just going to, just going to run through the car again. Take off the axles. Take off the muffler. Disconnect anything from, you know, the firewall. Take off that motor mount. Take off the AC lines, the condenser. Just start cleaning this entire engine bay up. I really don't want to record it. I'm by myself today. Um, yeah, I just, I honestly not, this is the part where I just want to get to work. Maybe I could just show you guys in the next clip how far along I got. Probably just jam out to some, some music. And uh, yo, listen to that Benny the Butcher featuring J. Cole. Remember who put you on fire. No lie. I had to try it for myself. Tuna fish, lettuce, tomato, no, well, tomatoes, onions, jalapeno, salt, pepper, oil, vinegar. Let's see if Goldo was right. Nah, it was fire. Yo, guys, this is where I'm at. So, took out that uh, EVAP system, took out the um, cruise control, power steering lines, everything as much as I can. Took off the throttle cable, took off the cruise control cable, uh, took out the um, slave cylinder. I got everything stacked right here. So whoever ends up with this swap, I'm literally giving you everything, man. I don't have any use for this stuff. So all the AC lines are in great condition. It was working, it was functional, so we know that that works. Um, yeah, guys, I got a lot to clean up. So, backstory real quick. When it's too cold outside, the water freezes, and the guys next door, we share the same water. So, the guys next door turned it on below 32 degrees, and they busted the line, so now I have no water. So the best thing I can do is just sweep up, clean all this mess up. I can't even, you know, wash under the hood yet. Um, again, gonna chip away and just keep, I mean, look at all that gunk. Let me see if I could zoom in for you guys. Look at this. Look at all those old leaves and yeah, it's pretty bad. Well, I like these kind of canvases because Manolo honestly was just way too easy. I know that sounds real stupid, but I mean, sometimes when it goes too easy, it takes the fun out of it. Pause. Um, I did have to fight with a lot of nuts and bolts, pause, and um, I don't care, man. I'm in, it. I'm in it for the experience. I got all my tools here. I got to clean up really bad. This place is a pigsty right now. It's like walking on ice skates, but yeah, man, what a, what a great progressive day. Seriously, though. That's it, Gunners. I'm finished for today. I... Uh, I think I did pretty good. Let me get some better lighting. I think I did pretty good today. Um, motor's completely out. Uh, made the car into a roller, obviously, just you know, so we can go clean it. Uh, Got to drop the gas tank because we have to do a fuel cell. Remember, we're, if you're interested in learning to do a DIY all-wheel drive build, EG, EK, CRX, DC2, this is the perfect opportunity to soak in a lot of knowledge again we've done one in the past but like I said I didn't have as many subscribers and followers at that time so it missed a lot of people the playlist for all-wheel drive lefty is on my channel just go to playlist and you'll find it um man what else to cover again give me some feedback on changing the channel's name to KG garage I don't know Maybe it'll help. Maybe we'll start to reach more people. Maybe I'll fall into the algorithm. I don't know, guys. Any suggestion is cool if you could just comment it below. Again, um, really, really positive day. Really, really positive day. Got, uh, got the car stripped. Now we've got more parts to gather. We'll keep you in a loop on that. 
We've got more uh, things to inquire. I just ordered these clutch packs that make the CRV element cross tour rear differential basically into a viscous coupler. So I'm not fully locking the rear because that's when stuff breaks. So you need some kind of slippage. And when that package gets here, we're gonna do the, cl uh, the, the clutches uh, swap, actually a DIY. We're gonna open up a, a, a rear differential and we're gonna swap that on the channel. You can learn all that too. But yeah, I think today was a positive, great day. I can put the wheels on, have it ready to roll out. Once they fix the water from next door, we'll get to wash everything. I always like to have a clean canvas before actually installing new clean parts because you don't want to be putting brand new billet stuff and mounts and stuff on the chassis and you got a whole glunk of grease all over the place. But anyway, man, thank you for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I hope you guys consider subscribing. Um, I need I need as much help as I can get. I won't lie to you. I don't ask for much. Just asking you guys to share the channel. Try to help me get to a hundred grand um, this year, and that'll be amazing. I love you. Be safe. Keep gunning.